Hello students, the next method that we will be learning under the topic transportation problem is least cost entry method, also known as LCM. Now here we have a question which says that solve the following transportation problem using least cost method. Now here we have been given a table where the source, there are three sources and three destinations. Now uh, the cell entries are the cost per unit that is spent on transportation of goods from the sources to the destinations. Now this is the demand and this is the supply given. Now first of all we have to check whether the given problem is a balanced transportation problem or unbalanced. For that first we have to add up all the demand. So 10 plus 20 plus 15 so this value is equal to 45 next we have to add up all the supply given so the total supply is 12 plus 18 plus 15 which is also equal to 45 and so the total demand is equal to total supply so total demand is equal to total supply so which means that the given problem is a balanced transportation problem so this is so this is a balanced transportation problem so now let us start making the allotment now this we are going to solve by using least cost method by the name itself we can understand that is we have to start giving the allotments to the cost which is least of all so of all these are the cost entries given out of all these cost we have to choose the least cost and we have to give the allotment for it now if you see the values given here out of these the two the least cost is one but this one has have has appeared twice so here we have a one and here we here also we have a one now we may get a doubt to which one first we have to give the allotment see we have to first check whether the the two ones have appeared in the same row or same column now if you see this one has appeared in the first row and the second column and this one has appeared in the third row and the first column so they have appeared in two different rows and columns then we can give allotment for any one in that case maybe when they appear in the same row or column i will give you a trick to solve it now since here they have appeared in two different rows and two different columns we can start giving the allotment to any of the one so this one is the least so out of these two arbitrarily i am choosing to give allotment for this this cell now here if we check the demand it is 10 and here the supply is 18 which is minimum the demand is minimum so that we have to give here so 10 we have to give here as the allotment and then after giving 10 as the allotment we must strike off this complete row from which the allotment is made and then from this number we have to subtract 10 so 18 minus 10 so which is 8 so that we have to write here now after this what are the remaining cells left out so these are the cells which are left out now out of these cells we have to choose which is the minimum element so if we check here this one is the minimum out of the remaining cells so now we have to give allotment for this cell so when we compare the demand and supply here demand is 15 and the supply is 12 and so supply is lesser so now we have to give the allotment as 12 for this so we have to give here 12 after giving 12 we have to completely strike off this column now after striking off we have to subtract 12 from 15 so 15 minus 12 will be 3 so that we have to write here now after writing this next we have to check out what are the remaining cells so these four cells are the remaining so out of these four values which is minimum 5 is the minimum value now we have to make the allotment for 5 now 
for 5 the demand is 20 and the supply is 8 out of 20 and 8 which is the minimum value 8 is the minimum value so we have to give the allotment here as 8 and after giving the allotment as 8 we have to completely strike off this column after striking off what we have to do we have to subtract this 8 from 20 and so this 20 gets cancelled and the remaining will be 12 over here now next what are the remaining cells if you see these two columns have got striken off and this row has also got striked off and so the two remaining two cells are this and this out of these two cells the value 6 is the least value so now here we have to give the allotment so for this the demand is 3 and then the supply is 15 which is least this 3 is the minimum value so that we have to give as allotment so three, the allotment is 3 so after giving 3 what we have to do we have to strike off this row completely now after striking off we have to subtract 3 from 15 so 15 minus 3 is 12 so 12 is the remaining value over here now the only left out cell is this cell for which we have to give the allotment and we also see that the solution is feasible because here the demand is also 12 and the supply is also 12 in such case it is a feasible solution so now the allotment will be 12 for this cell and we have to strike off the corresponding row as well as the corresponding column so both we have to strike off now if you check all the rows are striked off and all the columns are striked off and hence we can conclude the problem now by writing the allotment table so now next we shall write the allotment table for this so now while writing the allotment table we see that there is no allotment for this first cell so we have to hyphenate it and what is the allotment for the second cell it is 10 so we have to write 10 over here what is the allotment for this cell there is no allotment and so we have to hyphenate it so dash and then here we don't have any allotment so it is hyphenated here the allotment is 8 so we have to write 8 here and here the allotment is 12 and so we have to write 12 here now in the third row this cell has the allotment 12 so we have to write 12 here and this cell there is no allotment so we have to hyphenate it and here for this cell the allotment is 3 and so we have to write here 3 now we have to check how many allotments are there so number of allotments is equal to so 1 2 3 4 5 so we have made 5 allotments here now we shall check what kind of solution is this for which we have to take m plus n negative 1 so what is m the number of rows so there are three rows and n is number of columns so there are three columns and negative 1 so it is 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 so we observe that m plus n negative 1 is equal to the number of allotments so both are equal so the number of allotments so that is um, okay i have written this in short allotment so the m plus n negative 1 is equal to the number of allotments so which means what so the solution will be a non-degenerate basic feasible solution because it is exactly equal so the solution will be a the solution for this problem will be a non-degenerate basic feasible solution so now we shall evaluate the solution that is the total cost so how we have to do that we have to multiply each allotment with its uh, with the cost value of that particular cell so we can see see that here so 1 multiplied with 10 plus 5 multiplied with 8 plus 7 multiplied with 12 plus 1 multiplied with 12 plus 6 multiplied with 3 so this i will write here now and hence the total cost will be equal to this so which is equal to 10 plus 5 8 times is 40 plus 7 12 times is 84 plus 1 12 times is 12 
plus 6 3 times is 18 and so the total cost will be equal to 164 units so this is the answer hope you have understood the concept of solving a transportation problem by least cost method in our next video we will learn about row minima method and column minima method thank you